big fluffy omelets, thick cut French toast, and a dish so special, it's dedicated to Boston's mayor. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and they're getting serious in Savin Hill at a place called McKenna's. Located in Dorchester, McKenna's is the type of spot you want in your neighborhood. I feel like just the ambiance and the type of cooking, it, it's like old school, it's like, you know, coming right out of your kitchen. It's hearty, it's just the way people in New England like to eat, and we just stick to the basics, and it just has a huge draw because of that. It's a busy, happening, hopping place where people really like to come. You can usually find a cross-section of the community kicking off their day here. We get everybody from the neighborhood, from students to business people, people coming off the train, people are on their way to work, everybody. And we love that. It's a, a melting pot and we get people from all walks of life. In fact, Boston Mayor Marty Walsh is such a regular, they've named a dish after him. Behold, the Mayor's Special. It's a huge dish and it's very prominent. So that's how it became the Mayor's Special. It has everything, vegetables and eggs and sausage and bacon. It, everything in that kitchen goes into the Mayor's Special. If you have a big appetite and you're really hungry, you will leave here uh, full. You probably will not need to eat dinner or breakfast the next day. It's that big. Other great ways to start your day include everything from the killer Cajun omelet stuffed with spicy Cajun chicken, onions, mushrooms, and Monterey Jack cheese to the wildly popular steak tips and eggs. So we like marinate our steak tips like every night overnight with a special seasoning, special teriyaki sauce. It's a kind of like a, a salty sweet teriyaki, but the meat is tender and it sort of melts in your mouth. Extremely popular. People love to eat meat and eggs and we do it very well. And for a seafood spin on a breakfast staple, try the Crab Cake Benedict. It's a traditional Benedict, but we use the crab cakes instead of ham, so it mixes it up a little bit. People always order it. I think it's a combination of the sauce dripping with the eggs and the English muffins. It's just the flavor that it just, when it, when it all comes together, it's just so delicious. For something sweet, check out the fruit crepes topped with bananas, strawberries, yogurt, and cinnamon. Or the granola crusted French toast coated with a special blend of granola, nut, and honey and topped with fruit. We use a thick bread and when it's dipped in the eggs and then they dip it in freshly ground granola. And then when that is put on the griddle, it just crisps right up and it's really uh, delicious. How can you beat that? It's a great combination. At lunch, you can opt for all your diner favorites, from a tasty Reuben piled up with all the good stuff to a taco salad served in an edible bowl. It's an interesting take on tacos because we serve our salad like in a, in a shell that's made of like a fried dough type of thing. So that becomes the bowl. And then in the bowl, we put all of our ingredients and our meat and our seasonings and our salad. So it's a really unique dish. It's mouth-watering. And if you're there on a Wednesday, you best order the beef stew. So every Wednesday, we make our beef stew from scratch, simmer the meats and roast the vegetables, and it all goes in. And it's very, very popular. And we have a lot of people that come here on Wednesdays just so they can eat the beef stew. There's a full-on turkey dinner available as a sandwich. And for traditionalists, you can have it the way you do on Thanksgiving, but bring your appetite. I'm really impressed how many people order the turkey dinner. We do like a fresh vegetable, we do mashed potatoes, it has stuffing, it has a cranberry sauce, turkey on the bread, it's absolutely traditional and very popular. If you can't decide between breakfast and lunch, there's always the brunch burger. We do brunch and we do burgers. So we came up with the idea of doing like a brunch burger so that people can have the best of both worlds. So you get your meat, but you also get your eggs and it all comes together in the shape of a burger and it's very, very popular. What's also very popular at McKenna's are the prices and the portions, something that keeps the customers coming back. One of the things that draws the people is we have really reasonable prices. We offer huge portions of food, more than people can eat. It's very hard to find places that do that nowadays. Everything is so small and our food is like falling off the plate. It's the way restaurants used to be, like the old diner feel. We don't try to make it something that it's not and we just stick to our roots and stick to the basics and it really seems to work well for us. Come on, come on, come on, come on.